Your former uh, organization has been in the news. Mm -hmm. NDTV's imminent takeover by Adani. Uh, now, we at News Laundry had reported on this story around 2016, where we basically said that there's a vulnerability with RRPR, where there's a loan that has come from a Reliance Front company. Yeah. Uh, and it essentially means that it could be turned into equity at any point. So there was this uh, indebtedness to Reliance, so to speak. Now, you were at NDTV at that point. When you were there, was this ever a point of conversation with the Roy's? Uh, the health of the company, the loan, what it could mean? And did it lead to Ambani or Reliance being a holy cow within the NDTV space? Because I do not believe in uh, judging people when they're down. I think that's not a uh, good grace. I mm. think I, when I lashed out at them, they were powerful. I was, you know, the person on the outside and mm. I felt much more free in saying what I thought. So I'm not going to say uh, a lot of things I might have said in another context. But I will say this, that... NDTV's employees, including its senior leadership, did not know about this loan hmm. till much later. Um, I personally got to know about this loan hmm. from the Reliance at a time when they were... It should actually compel us to talk about the broken revenue models of TV news. Hmm. The fact that this loan had to be taken, the fact that it was not paid back over 13 years, the fact that the loan very clearly stipulates that if you don't pay back the loan, we effectively can now or later own this percentage of the company. Hmm. It's changed hands from one business baron to another business baron, which should make us step back and say, okay, is the only revenue model left in this country for business houses to run big TV channels? That is the Or then government advertising. Or government Ooh. advertising, which we hardly ever speak about, right? Hmm.